Hello friends, so this is our video related to MATLAB and in this video we will be seeing how to use the MATLAB in online mode and what is MATLAB and getting started with the MATLAB. So when you search down the Google use MATLAB online, you will get these tabs so you can log in on the MathWorks website. So as I have already created my login ID and password, it will redirect me directly to the home page of the MathWorks. So this is our home page of the MathWorks. Uh, if you are first time users, you can you will get a, a license to tab here and you will be able to take a trial version for a month. So you can use op MATLAB online. So MATLAB is a software called Matrix Laboratory. And in this software, you will be able to perform some codes as well as some simulation tools. So you will be able to simulate the circuits as well as some codes. So MATLAB is a very uh, extensively used uh, software. And every year there is a upgraded version of the MATLAB. The latest version is MATLAB 2021A. And hopefully we will get the upgraded version very soon. In this MATLAB versions, we actually get a newer tools or advanced technologies uh, added as long as the uh, upgradations are considered. So whenever we get a new version, there are obviously new tools added. So this is my online MATLAB tool, which I have already opened up. So this is your MATLAB window where you get a home tab. You can have a plots tab also. So in home tab, you will get some new scripts and new open window so in new you will be able to see the script live scripts functions live functions classes then main is figure and also you will be able to use the simulate so in this video we will be discussing related to the coding only like a command window in second video we i will surely upload a video related to the simulate so this is a simulate tab so in this simulate we can actually create the circuits and we can simulate the circuits like we can view their graphs but in this video we will be seeing what are the basic appearances of the matlab and how to write a code so let me start with the command window here so when you first time open matlab you will be able to see a command window likewise so you can get a user manual so he, this this tab is a command window and here you can type down the an instant code like let's say clc is for clear all so there was nothing so if i want to load some values a is equal to 5 let's say so it will load the value so this is our command window so we are loading a is equal to 5 and this is current folder directory so from here you can select the codes which you are working on or files you are working on so see here this is one aspect of workspace so whatever you write down in command window will be get stored in the workspace so in workspace you will get this a stored as a one value and what is value of this array is one cross one so you can write down any matrix also let's say b is equal to any matrix called b two space five three space five so it is a row vector so i can i can create a new row by giving a colon semicolon sorry and then four comma eight can be a new row so when i hit this I enter so this will be a matrix called b is equal to three five four eight and once it is loaded see b is loaded here as two cross two so size of the matrix is two cross two and the values will be stored here but if you now load some another value for small a it will be replaced by let's say a is equal to four so the earlier value which was a is equal to five now will get replaced by a is equal to four so this is your live script which you are writing and here you won't be able to change whatever you are writing but you will get the output directly so this command window can be called as the output window for your code but here you can write down the code and you will get direct result but now suppose if i want to write down a star b means multiplication of a with b matrix so i will get the multiplication of a means 4 into 3 4 into 5 4 into 4 and 4 into it likewise so i will get this matrix and this will again now will get stored as an answer 
you can store this answer as another variable also now this is a command window suppose you want to save this uh, program and use this program multiple time that time we use a script so here you can upload start a new script or you can open a script from this also so i have already opened a script here let me cut this first we will use this later on so let's say we are having a code of a is equal to 4 so here it won't get run when we enter the things and b is equal to a square bracket what we have entered is a 3 space 5 colon, semicolon 4 space 8 so these are our two matrices now let's say we write down c is equal to a star b so this is our code now to run this script we will have to uh, run the code and for that run the code we will go to the editor and here we have run so this is a script and for that we have a editor tool so this was a home tab here then plots tab in plots tab we can get a several number of plots which are just like a powerpoint so you can take a number of plots here and similarly here we have editor so in editor you can run the code so as we run the code see here so again our new values of the code like this is your untitled code and a is equal to 4 b is equal to this and c is equal to this answer so this answer will get stored now a was 4 and b was 3 5 4 8 here so it got replaced again with the new code but the earlier answer was stored here as answer and new answer was stored with c because we have replaced it as a c okay so this was about the coding you also can uh, plot the graphs like this uh, i taken a time series from 0 to 1 to 10 and then let's say some v value is 15 and then we can set some omega is equal to 314 or we can we can write down here some frequency f is equal to 50 so here you can write down two and then plot for t comma v so you can run the code and it will generate a graph so this is your graph generated by the code So you can set down the values you can check what is what the values we are missing so likewise whatever parameters you change you will get a different graph thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe